I'm Laurie and welcome to your prenatal strength and conditioning workout. What you're going to need today are a set of dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the merrier. Have them around so we can switch them out when we need to. We will also need something squishy like a ball. We won't need this until the very end just for one exercise. So if you don't have this ball, don't worry about it. Grab a small pillow or roll up a blanket in place of this. Now we will also need a bench and if you don't have a bench, use a chair just make sure since uh this bench is really really heavy it's not going anywhere just make sure you have the back of your chair placed against a wall because we will be kind of placing our weight back and down into it and we don't want that chair to slide so if you have a chair just make sure the back of it is against the wall and make sure you have something to hydrate with all right i got this one by request a challenging longer prenatal workout. Now I know I'm going to get this in the comments below the question, can I do this in my third trimester? And that's going to be yes, probably. Of course, I always want you to check with your doctor before beginning any pre before beginning any new exercise regimen. So make sure this is okay for you. We're going to be combining strength elements as well as conditioning elements to this workout. All right, so I'm gonna have a few ways to modify today's workout because not everyone's the same. If I have two clients, both at 35 weeks pregnant, I'm not gonna have the same workout program for them with the same weight selection. Why? Because everyone is different. We're all at different fitness levels. So I want you to honor your body and your individual uh, fitness level today. So a couple ways to modify. The biggest way to modify with all the strength uh, exercises today will be with your weight selection. So option, modification, lighten the load. Go from 10 pounds to five pounds. If you need to go lighter, go water bottles in each hand, go body weight, that's fine. That's an option. Another modification with the lower body exercises and with some of the uh, cardio exercises will be to reduce the range of motion. That just means don't take it as far uh, down, especially on squat. So I'm gonna give you an example of reducing the range of motion. So here's my squat as it is currently. So I go about parallel, I drive it up. When I was in my third trimester and when most people are in their third trimester, we don't wanna take it as far down. So we can take it halfway down or quarter of the way down, just enough to feel it where we wanna feel it, but not compromising anything else. So reduce the range of motion is another modification for today. Third modification will be to rest. Hit that pause bus button, rest when you need to, take that drink of water, and then when you feel like it, hit the play button, join us. So three ways to modify today's workout, do what you need to do. Today's format, we will be alternating from strength blocks to cardio blocks. We have three strength blocks, three cardio blocks. In each strength block, there will be three different exercises. Each exercise will be performed three rounds. So you get three shots at those exercises. You can start conservatively and then after the first round you get to make that call. Was it not was it not challenging enough? If it wasn't, you can up the weight selection. If you felt good, we're gonna maintain. Before we get into any of that, we're gonna begin with a super quick warm-up. So set everything down. First let's focus on the breath. Bring the hands to seize, bring them to the outsides of the rib cage. When we inhale today, we want to think about filling up that rib cage. Front, sides, and back, big diaphragmatic inhalation. Then as we exhale, let's go ahead and, and engage TVA by giving your baby a gentle hug up. So that's going to engage the deepest innermost core layer. Let's do that again. Practice your TVA breathing. Inhale, fill up that rib cage. Exhale, pelvic floor lifts little hug up of the baby. Very, very gentle. It's not full on 100%, but it's a very gentle engagement. So why do we do that? Well, we want to engage the TVA so we don't uh, have any coning or tenting down the midline. If you notice that coning or tenting down the midline, that means you are putting pressure on that linea alba tissue and we should stop and refocus on the engagement and on the breath. All right, let's begin. Cardio warm up. Inhale. Just reach up and over. Enough of me talking. We're just gonna start right here. And as we do this, let's think about keeping the hip points square to the ground. And we're not twisting through the belly. As you can see, I'm tapping one toe at a time. Slight pivot. Rotation of the hips, very slight. Shoulders down and away from the ears, even as we reach up. 
keep that breath steady. We're in this for the long haul together. We'll switch it, arms forward, and three, two, one. Arms forward, reach it, stabilize the hips. Slight engagement of the TBA, TBA to stabilize those hips. So today, you will be working your core a little bit on exercises you don't even realize you work your core, like squats and lunges. And we need that engagement of the TBA to help stabilize those hips. We have eight. In six, we go to butt kicks. Four, three, two, one. Butt kick at left and right. Dorsiflex at the ankle. Really kind of squeeze the hamstring muscle back of the leg as we bring it in. Again, hip points pretty level. Arms go out to the side, flip it over under. Getting our shoulders nice and warm. Eight more like this. It's eight, six, four, three, two, hold center. Squat it down, bring it up. Only take it halfway down and lift. Halfway down, drive through the heels. Let's make sure our knees are staying behind the toes. We should be feeling this in your glutes and in your hamstrings mainly. Slow it down if needed. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Tap it side to side. Reach it up and over. Big deep inhale, fill up that rib cage. Exhale, engage TBA, slight hug up. Good, eight more like this, and then we get to your first strength block of the day. Here's your last four, three, two, and one. All right, to begin your first strength block of the day, we have poliquin lateral raises, hammer curl, and then we work your shoulders after that. Reverse lunges and then reverse lunges with front raises. Grab something a little bit lighter. I'm gonna recommend right around five-ish pounds. You can go heavier, you can go lighter if needed. Take your first round conservatively. conservatively. So polyquin lateral raises, stabilize the hips, feet about hip distance apart. Hammer curl it in. One, elbows wide, dumbbells go out, control it down. Keep a neutral low back, keep the belly out of it. If you thrust the hips forward, we're going too heavy. We have 10 poliquin lateral raises. Let's go. Curl, elbows out, control it down. Curl, elbows out, control. Good, biceps, delts. Biceps, delts, nice. One, two, three, and four. Halfway through, five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two more. Control that eccentric phase. Last one. Nice work. Go ahead, bring it up in a hammer curl position. We're holding here. From here, reverse lunge. Step that right leg back, heavy in that front heel, drive through that heel to bring it up, and then we switch sides. Your option here, reduce the range of motion. 10 total, five each side, let's go. Drive through the heel. Glutes and hamstrings are the main focus. You can always bring the arms long to the side. Knee behind that toe, slow and steady. Halfway through, five more. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Release the arms long. We continue the reverse lunges, but this time at the top, we're adding a front raise. So one lunge, one front raise, 10 total, let's go. Lunge, hold center, front raise, return, other side. Lunge, hold center, shoulder level, control. Drive through the heel, front of the shoulders. Slight hinge forward to keep that belly out of it. Halfway through, five more. 
halfway through, five more. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Now we set those dumbbells down. 15 second recovery, then we do that again. If you need to change out your weight selection, do it. We go right one into the next. We're doing that two more times. Get that mind muscle connection down. Keep the form consistent. Grab those weights. Poliquin lateral raises for 10. Let's go. Curl, elbows out, control it on the way down. The slower we go on that eccentric phase, the more challenging it is. Breathe through it. Lower body's completely out of it. If you find yourself swinging those hips, go lighter. Halfway through, five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice work. Go ahead and curl it up. We're gonna hold this position. We lunge it right and then left in three, two, five each side, 10 total. So our option or modification right here would be just to reduce the range of motion. See, I'm just not going down as far. I'm still feeling it in the same exact place, hamstrings and glutes. Five more total, five. Last three. Two, one, hold at the top, release the arms long. We continue with those reverse lunges, add a front raise at the top, let's go. Lunge, hold, front raise, return. We can make these lunges more attainable by widening your base. So instead of standing on that balance beam, think about standing on some railroad tracks or just mat distance. Slight lean forward, that'll activate your shoulders a little bit better. Keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. We don't wanna rise the traps up. We wanna keep the traps out of it as much as possible. Four more, last four. Three. Two. No swinging, control it. Last one. Nice work, Whew, set those dumbbells down. All right, again, if that did not feel challenging, as long as you can keep your form and your mind-muscle connection and everything feels good, you can up the weight selection, but do so very, 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 very slowly. Roll it out, roll it forward. All right, we have that one more time before we get into a super quick two-minute cardio circuit. So go ahead, grab your weights. Final round of block one, Poliquin, lateral raises, 10 total, let's go. Curl, elbows out, control it down. This is really challenging, those shoulders on the way down. Curl, out, wide, control. It's not about how fast we can go. The slower we go right there, the more challenging it becomes. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice work, curl it up, we hold, reverse lunges, widen your base just like so, instead of right here, you're right here for those reverse lunges, 10 total, let's go. 10, nine, eight, you got it, seven, six, drive through the heel, five, four, knee behind the toe, three, Two, one, release those arms long. Whew. Roll the shoulders back, reverse lunge. 
to front raise. We go in three, two, and one. Ten total. Eight more. Here's our last five, four, three, two, last one. Nice work, set those dumbbells down. All right, we're going up for a cardio circuit, one minute on. 15 seconds off and then we do it again. Eight part movement. So do this one with me before we go. So we have a side reach punch, three taps to kick. That's a lot. So it's one, two, three, four, tap, three, two, one, and then side kick. Now on your kick, you can just keep tapping. So you can tap four right here. You can kick it. You really need to engage TVA to help stabilize those hips. Don't think about how far you can get the leg up. Right here is just as good. So let's do that together again. One, two, three, four, tap, three, two, one, and then kick. We're gonna kick on the same leg for an entire minute, and then we'll take a 15 second rest. Then we'll do it again, kick on the other side. Ooh, here we go. And three, two, and one. Reach, reach, punch, punch. Tap, three, two, one, kick. Reach, punch. Tap, three, two, one, kick. Good. Punch, tap, three, two, one, kick. Reach for two, punch for two. Tap, three, two, one, kick. You can slow this down. If this is too fast, slow it down halfway through. <sighs> Stabilize those hips. Reach it, punch it. Tap, three, two, one, side kick. <sighs> Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and kick. Whew. All right, roll it out, 15 second recovery. Then we'll go to the other side. So we'll start this side first, and we'll kick on that side. Roll it out, five seconds, and we go. We go in three, two, and one. 60 seconds on, reach for two, punch for two, tap. Three, two, one, side kick. Reach for two, punch for two, tap. Three, two, one side kick. We can always just tap, tap, and you don't have to kick. Engage TVA, keep those hips fairly stable to the ground below. Fifteen seconds. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, if you need a drink of water, grab it right now. While you grab that drink of water, I'm gonna demo the next strength block. Three exercises, three rounds. First exercise is going to be a single arm high row. We're gonna do this on your bench or on your chair. It's just a, my preferred method of doing it. Uh, you can always take it to a split stance if you want, but this is my preferred method. Make sure that ball is completely out of your way. So do your weaker side first if you have one. Now one knee will go onto the bench. The same side of your hand will come to the bench as well. Now slight roundness of the upper spine, engage TVA, that's not gonna be the main focus. The main focus is going to be your mid to upper back. So we're right here, we have that dumbbell in hand. Elbow flares out to the side, draw it to the outside of the chest, big squeeze of the mid to upper back. Control, control, control on the way down. We have 10 on one side, 
10 on the other. Again, if that's, if you don't like it that way, we can take it right here as well. You just need a slight hinge forward to hit the back muscle. After that, we have bench squats for 10. We have two dumbbells, one in each hand. Now we're coming all the way down to your bench or chair. From here, drive through the heels, engage the glutes and hamstrings as an option. You take it right here, drive it up. You don't go all the way down, but that's a great method for doing it. To really engage glutes and hamstrings, sit all the way back down into it. After that, we have sumo squats, to upright row, heels in, toes out. We bring it down, drive through the heels, flip the grip, rip the dumbbells apart to hit the delts, control it on the way down. All right, 10, 10, and 10. Let's go ahead, get into position. Do your weaker side first, if you have one. Again, you can do it right here. You can do it in a staggered stance, both is fine. Here we go. 10 total high rows in three, two, and one. Mid to upper back, getting your back nice and strong. This will help with posture. Your back is a fairly strong muscle group, so you can go a little bit heavier here. Two more. Last two. Last one, great work. We're just going to switch sides so, so you don't see my butt. I'm just gonna come right here and do the other side. Here we go, light, light, light on this. All right, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and last one all right now we need both dumbbells we're coming into a bench squat so we're sitting all the way down on the chair remember your option or modification is to reduce the range of motion palms face inward heavy in the heels we sit all the way back down on your to your chair from here drive through the heels you can squeeze the glutes at the top to maintain a neutral low back that was one nine more Last five, engage TVA, slight hug up at the baby. You are working your core right here. Three more. Last two. And last one, nice work. Dumbbells are long, heels and toes out, wider stance. Sumo squat to upright row, option with the sumo squat. Don't take it down as far. All right, here we go. In total, flip the grip. Control. One, two, three, and four. Five more. Last five. Four. drive through the heels you got it last two and last one great work set those dumbbells down we have about a 15 second recovery now on the next round I'll show you what a staggered stance looks like in case you want to switch it up but again I preferred and prefer so as most of my clients prefer that method but I'll show you a staggered stance neither is right nor wrong the best way is the best way that works for you. So I'll show you this next round, what a stagger stance looks like, but come to that bench if you want. 10 rows on each side. Do your weaker side first if you have one. Here we go. Slight hinge forward, let's go. Elbow flares out to the side, control it down. Looking straight down. Mid to upper back is the focus. Slight hug up at the baby. No coning, no tinning. Five more, last five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, bring it up. If you're on that bench, you're walking over to the other side or you're just turning this way, other side. Here we go, 10 total, 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going back to the bench squats. Remember option one, reduce the range of motion. You don't have to bring it all the way down here. You can also place a couple books right there tap it drive it up or get rid of these dumbbells i'm going to show you what it looks like without the dumbbells just your body weight 10 total find what works for you heavy into heels right here drive it up three two one drive through the heels so we can sit back and down this way because we have a little bit more beneath of us i'm gonna finish my thought Exhale, drive it up. Hips stay level. Engage TVA to help keep the hips level and stable. Four more. Last four. Three. Two. Last one, drive through the heels. Grab your dumbbells. Sumo squat to upright row. Reduce the range of motion, lighten the load as a modification. Here we go, glutes and hamstrings and then delts. 10 total, two part movement, control it. We may look like this in our first trimester, but towards the end, it may more so look like this. Chest is lifted, knees are driving out, not in. Five more, last five. Four, exhale to drive. You don't care what people say, people say, people Three say. more. I'm going crazy. Last two. Don't know how you make it me feel this way, but can I say? Last one. Set those dumbbells down. Great work. All right, 15 seconds, and we do that one more time. Do whatever version of the high row works best for you. 15 seconds goes by pretty quick. I'm gonna go back to the bench. Do your weaker side first if you have one. If you don't, just ignore what I say. Here we go, 10 total in three, two, and one. One to count up, slow and steady on the way down. Elbow out wide. Five more, last five, four, three, two, and one, you can flip it around if you don't wanna to walk to the other side. We have 10 total at your own pace. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, control it, two, and one. Nice work, set that dumbbell down, come on out. Bench squats with or without the weights. The weights obviously will make it more challenging if you're bringing it all the way down. That's pretty good range of motion option. Don't take it as low. Here we go. 10 total final round, heavy in the heels. Knees are behind the toes. So if you're right here, adjust the feet. So when we're all the way down, knees are pretty stacked over the ankles. Here's what I see all the time. You're just, you just need to walk your feet out and walk it out when we sit all the way down. I see that from my non-natal clients. Five more, last five. Just like lose control, play songs on the radio Four. Three. Control it. Last two. Last one, drive it up, good job. All right, super squat to upright row. Last round, then we hit a little cardio circuit, heels in, toes out. Let's go. Core is working right here. Slight hug up of the baby, good. Pelvic floor lifts right there. Five more, last five. 
four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, nice work. Cardio circuit coming your way. All right, we're gonna do a side shuffle to a calf raise. So you get to control the tempo with how fast you go. We're right here. We're in an iso squat hold option. You're just standing. So we're right here. We shuffle, calf raise. Shuffle, calf raise. All right, we're gonna do that for the first 60 seconds and five seconds we go. Cardio circuit in three, two, and one. One minute. Engage TBA, hip, stay level. seconds five four three two and one 15 seconds to recover next up we're gonna crank it up a notch you can always stay with the previous version so this time we side shuffle squat to a calf raise with the arms we'll just do that on repeat we go in three two and one Halfway through, 30 seconds. Final 15. Let's make it back. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. Two down on strength and cardio. One to go. Grab that drink of water and meet me back on your mat. While you take this small recovery, I'm going to go ahead and demo what's coming next. So we will need your bench or your chair. Make sure that chair is up against the wall. Grab your ball. Place your ball to the side on the ground. Place one dumbbell on the mat as well. All right, this next exercise is the best glute exercise. And I know uh, postnatal will really concentrate on building up strength in your pelvic floor and your core, but you also wanna be focusing on building strength around those muscles, one being your glutes. So from here, we're going to come down. So guide yourself down until the bottom of your shoulder blades are about on the bench. We all need to adjust it. This bench is maybe like two feet high. So if it was a little bit shorter, I would come down a little bit more. So have your ball handy. From here, feet are gonna go about hip distance apart. So we're right here. Before we move, we need to have a slight posterior tilt with the pelvis. Neutral, slight posterior. Then we will drive through the heels Big squeeze of the glutes at the top. Notice how my rib cage is slightly above my hips. That's what we want. We wanna feel it in your glutes and not your low back. This is what I see all the time if you feel it in your low back. We're here and then we're here. Usually people looking straight up and your hips are a little above your rib cage or they're in level. So think about posterior tilt, drive through the heels, squeeze the glutes, bring it down. After we hit 10 of those, we hold, we place that ball in between our legs and then we'll hold that hip thrust position and add 20 pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. 
working the inner thighs as well as the pelvic floor. So I want you to think about squeezing the pelvic floor, cracking, <laughs> working the front and the back of the pelvic floor, like you're stopping the flow of urine and squeezing something inside. After we hit 20 of those, we release it down. Now we're coming all the way down onto your mat. Neutral pelvis, now if this doesn't feel good, it's probably because there's just not enough padding. So you can come back on your bench if you want. I'm just limiting the transition. From here, feet go long. We'll bring one dumbbell overhead and we have 10 triceps in this L sit position. Make sure you have a neutral pelvis. Again, any discomfort, you can bring it up to a chair. All right, so 10 hip thrusts. 20 adduction pulses, and then 10 triceps. So go ahead, bring it to position. If you feel it in the low back, don't do it, come out of it. Comment below, ask a million different questions. Let's get it right. So feet hip distance apart, no weight here. You can add a weight if you want to make it more challenging, but I'm, it's not necessary. Come on, let's go. Posterior tilt, drive it up, squeeze the glutes, make sure the knees are going out, not in. That's one, control, control, control. Posterior tilt, drive through the heels. We're looking straight ahead, nice and firm. Good, two. Control it. So I see a lot of people kind of press off against their arms too. You don't want that. Usually we have a weight right here. We're just holding on to it, but your hands can go wherever, just look forward. Big squeeze right here is where we should feel. Halfway, five more. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last two. Last one. Make sure that ball is handy because we're grabbing it right now. Place it in between the thighs, not directly on the knee joints, inner thighs. Bring the feet together, 20 pulses in this position. Your option or modification, bring it to a seated position on the bench, let's go. Squeeze, release. Squeeze it, release. Front and back of the pelvic floor. Stop the flow of urine, squeeze something inside. Inner thighs are working as well. <sighs> 20 at your own pace, we have 10 more. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it all the way down. Anchor that ball somewhere. We grab one dumbbell. We have tricep extensions. Control it on the eccentric face. Again, you can always bring it to a seated position if you don't have enough cushion with the mat. Let's go. 10, drive it up. Nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Set that dumbbell down. Bring it back to that hip thrust position. Adjust your feet accordingly. If we're too far in, it's not good. If we're too far out, it's not gonna feel good. You wanna find your sweet spot. Here we go, 10 hip thrusts, let's go. Posterior your tilt, drive through the heels, look straight ahead, rib cage is underneath the hips. I like my hands right here, but again, I could lift them off. They are not pushing off of the bench. Five more, last five, four, Three, two, hold at the top, grab your ball, heel to the feet in a little bit, 20 pulses. Squeeze it, release. This is our tempo, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Keep the breath constant. 15 more. Ten more, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. We're bringing it all the way down. Now, if this L-sit position isn't comfortable even after you have padded it, now we can come all the way up, sit on your bench, perform like so. You can even do it standing if you want. You may just want to widen your legs a little bit to make room through that belly, especially in that L-sit position. 10 total, do what feels good for you. 10, big stretch in the triceps, bring it up. Control it, drive it. Five more, last five, four, three, two, and last one. Set that dumbbell down. We're doing that one more time. Hip thrust, adduction pulses, and then triceps. Then we have one cardio circuit and we are done. All right, make sure that ball is handy. Let's scoot on down. Shoulder blades are driving back and down into the bench. Chairs leaned up against the wall. Find the position of your feet. Mine are, my heels are pretty much stacked over my knees, but maybe they're a little bit forward, adjusted accordingly. Posterior tilt with the pelvis. It's very slight, drive through the heels. Big squeeze of the glutes is where we should feel it, right along here. 10 total, that was one. Pause at the top, good. If you want an extra challenge, feel free to set that dumbbell right here. Some of us may be good right here. Knees do not cave in right here, drive them out. I love putting a band around below my knees or above the knees is a great way to prevent that. Three more, make them your best yet. Last three, two, last one. Hold, grab that ball. You can always just take it to a seated position. All right, now we squeeze the ball. Front and the back of the pelvic floor is engaged as well. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep this tempo. Big squeeze every time we go into that ball. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, set that ball down. We're gonna come back to it one more time. But first we have L-sit tricep extensions. Again, the farther along we are, you may wanna widen your feet a little bit or come to a nice cushiony chair. All right, where you can stand up. It's up to you. This is just to limit time. Here we go, 10 total. Last 10, drive it up. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two, and last one. Great job. We will need that dumbbell, so place it. We do not need that dumbbell, so place it off to the side. Now we have one final thing. So go ahead and shift onto one side and come up however feels good for you. We're coming into seated adductions, which was the option, but we're gonna do more reps. And then we have some tricep dips before we go to our cardio circuit. So bring that ball in between the legs. Good posture. So make sure we're in a neutral pelvis. We have adductions for one minute. It's not about how many you can do, but how many quality reps you can do. We go in three, two, and one. Squeeze it, release. Squeeze it, release. Stop the flow of urine. Squeeze something inside. Squeeze the ball. Pelvic floor, inner thighs. Slight lean forward may help. Helps me. Big squeeze, release. Big squeeze, release. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> For our final 30 seconds, let's speed up that tempo. In, in. Final 10 seconds. Last three, two, big squeeze, hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're done with that. 
All right, we're going to end with some tricep dips as a modification. You can always come back to these tricep extensions. Just pace yourself with the dumbbell. So we're right here. Palms are going onto the bench. Now we're in a, a chair position. Widen your stance to about mat distance. From here, hinge at the elbows, bring it up. So we're either right here. If you want more of a challenge, you can deepen the range of motion. That's a little bit more challenging. All right, we have 30 seconds of these tricep dips. Then we go to cardio. We go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Only 30 seconds here. Final 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, walk it on in, shake it out. All right, final thing, cardio. Two minutes, one minute on, 15 seconds off, one minute on, and then we're done. So we're gonna start the first exercise, uppercut to jab, so it's going to be Two uppercuts, two jabs. We're there for 60 seconds. I really want you to work in that upper body, keep the hip points level, engage TVA. On round two, we'll add a little side shuffle to it. Here we go, one minute on in three, two, and one. Uppercut, jab, uppercut, jab it to the side. Find a tempo that we can maintain for one minute, and then we're sticking to it. Go as slow or as quickly as you want. If you're going quick, make sure it is perfect form. Or not, swaying the hips. Halfway through. Final 15. Last five, four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds to recover. Now we're gonna continue on that. Uppercut to jab, then we're gonna side shuffle, side shuffle back, all right? We're just adding a side shuffle after it. We go in three, two, and one. Uppercut, jab, side shuffle. This is it, final 60 seconds. Way through. Final fifteen seconds, you got it. One more rep. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, all right, we're done. But let's stretch it out, cool it down, start to slow the breath down, match the inhalations to the exhalations. Easier said than done, grab that drink of water if needed. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale down. Inhale up. As we exhale, grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand, gentle side bend up and over to the right. Inhale, draw the left shoulder blade back. Really shift the weight into the left butt. And then side bend a little bit more. Inhale up, let's switch the grip. Exhale, side bend up and over to the left. Inhale, right shoulder blade back. Exhale, side bend a little deeper, very gentle. Inhale up as we exhale, give that left tricep a nice gentle stretch. Inhale up to center. Exhale, other side. 
Inhale, release the arms. Exhale, hug the right arm in. Release right shoulder and release left ear. Ooh, towards the left shoulder, feeling a nice stretch along that right trap. <sighs> Inhale up to center. Exhale, let's switch sides. Inhale up to center. All right, let's hit those legs. So our first stretch is going to be a hamstring stretch. I'll show you the way on the ground and then one if you're super flexible and you want uh, a little bit more of a stretch. So right here, hip points are square, right foot goes forward, dorsiflex at the ankle, big deep inhale. As we exhale, we're hinging just enough to feel a stretch along the back of the right leg into that right hamstring. Now, if you don't feel anything there, you can prop your foot up on a chair. You may wanna have your foot at an angle before you, you have to do less hinging, less to work this way. Deeper stretch though, so go into it very, very slowly. Just another way to get there. Find your preferred method and then stick to that. All right, come out of it, other side. I prefer this method. Big deep inhale up. And exhale, one more stretch. We're gonna get those hips. So if you want, you can keep the left foot onto the ground and just start to hinge forward, feeling a nice stretch along the front of the right hip flexor. If you want a little bit more, you bring the right foot up onto your bench, make sure there's room for that belly, and then we're just hinging forward as well. Both will hit the front of that right hip flexor. Do what works for you. Again, not twisting from the belly. Go into your stretches. Very slow, very, very slow. You have a hormone called relaxing in your body. It's gonna make you think you're a little bit more flexible than you are. Go into your stretches very slowly. Can't stress that enough. All right, other side. Big deep inhale, exhale, come forward. Oh, should feel pretty good. All right, inhale, bring it on in. Take whatever other stretches your body is craving. Let's take one more round of breath together. Inhale up. As we exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage just to open the chest and the front of the shoulders. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Nice work today, mama. You rock, you did awesome. Always honor your body and how you are feeling. Remember, just doing your best each and every time is all that matters. Have a wonderful rest of your day.